Hello, and welcome to this video presentation in which we'll describe how to use Apex SQL Complete Options to manage the autocomplete hint list and use the autocomplete feature to speed up SQL coding. To enable autocomplete, navigate to the Apex SQL Complete menu and click the Enable Autocomplete option. Once enabled, the hint list is initiated upon typing, offering a hint to complete a keyword, SQL fragment, or even entire SQL statement. Prior to the first appearance, the hint list loads SQL database objects based on one of the following. The current database connection, database specified in the use statement. Since the add-in loads hints for the specified database just once on the first hint list appearance, it is recommended to wait for the add-in to finish loading. After the hints are loaded, they will not be loaded again until the host application is restarted. The hint list offers context-sensitive hints and provides possible solutions based on the content of the current query. As an example, if the use statement is entered, the first hints in the hint list will be available databases from the server. The hint list offers the drill down to the column level. In cases where a quick overview of current SQL code is needed, such as when working with large scripts, the hint list can be set as transparent and will no longer obscure the underlying SQL. To invoke hint list transparency, hit the control key. Hover over an object to highlight. An object script box will appear showing the T-SQL script for the selected object. Apex SQL Complete can insert a full insert update statement for the chosen database object. Also, Apex SQL Complete can script out stored procedures, functions, triggers, and views, such as an alter statement. Let's paste some code. Apex SQL Complete is aware of the content from the current query. This means that each object that has a create statement in the current query will be in the hint list, no matter if an object is created or not, and will be green. Now, you can create different queries against these tables, as we do with the tables that have already been created in the database. Please note, if we execute these statements before we create these tables, the following error will occur. Let's execute these statements and open a new query window. As you can see, the newly created tables are not present in this list. Each time a new object is created, the cache needs to be refreshed in order for Apex SQL Complete to detect the newly created object and offer it in the hint list. Apex SQL Complete has options to autocomplete closing characters, such as parentheses, quotation marks, etc. These autocompletions can be enabled from Apex SQL Complete options in the Closing Characters section under the Inserts tab. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.